We set the dado stack up and buried it in the sacrificial fence. We then cut the rabbits in the back panel. Here we use a shoulder plane to fine tune the fit of the back panel to the carcass. Now we measure, set up, and cut the center divider. Now let's dry fit the table carcass and see how we did. Looking good. All right, we ran into a bit of a snag when we were um, sanding down the drawer fronts. We ran them through our drum sander and I was coming near the end of my measurements, I noticed that we were getting a, uh, a thinner side on one than the other. So obviously the uh, table's out inside the, uh, inside the drum sander. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a hand plane and try to even everything back up. Keep in mind, we're using a low angle uh, hand plane on this to try to prevent as much tear out as possible. This curly wood really likes to tear up. 61, 61, 62, 63. It's good enough for me. Moving on.
Here we cut the rabbits in the drawer fronts. Now we cut the dados in the drawer bottoms and in the drawer front. Now we cut the back panels to the final length. Here we cut the dados in the sides to accept the back panels. That's a lot of clamps for two drawers. Here we mark and drill the drawers for the pins. After we, we glued up the drawers, what we did is we marked them uh, one inch in from either side and uh, three eighths of an inch from the top, which is approximately half of the thickness of the drawer front. What we then did is we, we drilled the holes. Instead of drilling, just drilling a, a quarter inch hole with a drill and taking a quarter inch dowel, gluing it, sticking it in there and cutting it off, we used something called a mill dowel system. And what it is basically, if you take a look, the dowel is stepped and it looks like a nail. And the drill bit that you use for it is basically the same thing. It's a step bit. So with the glue, just instead of the dowel, it actually drives it in like a, so it's like a wooden nail basically. It's very strong, keeps the joint, keep, keep it pinned. Now, we could have just used a maple dowel, like this one here. And the fact that we have long grain on the draw sides and end grain on the dowel, you would have had a, a, a little darker spot like an accent. But because we are doing the carcass in uh, Java gel stain, which is very dark chocolate brown. We decided to go with a, a walnut to really give a nice accent. All right. The drawers themselves, drawer sides and backs are all half inch maple. If you can see that. And the drawer fronts is three quarter inch and it is quilted maple.
you already pre-drilled for the handles. This way, after we're done sanding and finishing, we just bolt the handles right on. Now, in the three sides, I don't know if you can see this, put a 3 8 inch by 3 8 deep dado all the way around to accept the drawer bottom. So we're not going to be using plywood at all for, this, for these uh, projects, we like solid wood. We're going to be using solid 3 quarter inch pine bottom, which we are going to cut the size and then we are going to mark and we are going to use a hand plane to take down the three sides, the bevel of three sides, to fit the bottom and it'll be held with one screw in the back. And we will leave this unfinished when it goes in there so that when you open the drawer you have that nice smell of pitch from the pine. All right, well, it's that time. It's time to uh, glue up the carcass. Uh, this is the most dreaded time in the shop. Um, this part of the, any kind of build makes me bat crap uh, crazy all the time. So uh, before we start, I want to show you that we pre-finished the back panel. So this way, when we put it together, when we stain it, if it happens to be some wood movement, um, you're not going to see the lighter wood uh, if it does shrink up. And the first couple inches of the inside panels, Top and bottom we did too, so this way when the drawers are out, you're not going to notice the light wood on the inside either. So without further ado, a little prayer to the woodworking gods. Um, all goes well. Here we go. Okay. Back panel is going to float. No glue on this. It's solid wood. It's not plywood. And now the glue starts. All right. Frozen? Guess what? This is why you should have new glue. It's dry. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Hey, ready? <laughs> Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. It's solid. I guess we should have checked. Moving on. Well, now. From Type Bomb 1 to Type Bomb 2. Here we go. That Unbelievable. Was, now we're forced to work extra fast. Yeah, we're using Type Bomb 1 because it uh, gives you a little bit more open time. But it's uh, not really that hot. It's only about 58 degrees, so we should be able to get away with using this. I get six biscuits here. Mm -hmm. Man, these guys are going to be tired when they're done. Well, there you go. Even with strap clamps that are supposed to keep everything nice and square in alignment and pull the joints in, we still needed 16 clamps to get all these miners to close properly and keep the boxes where the draw boxes are square. And I gotta thank you, Mark, because if you didn't come hey. here tonight and help me, this would have been in the dumpster. In the Guaranteed dumpster. it. See you later. See you later. It would have been firewood. So uh, now that this is done, we're gonna let it dry. Then we will prep the front, use a hand plane. Get everything smoothed out, sand everything down, get this stained, and get the drawers fitted. We gotta make the bottom still, 
and you're gonna see that too that's gonna to be done with a hand plane also so stay tuned Here we use a hand plane to fit the drawers. Remember to sneak up on the fit. Now we test fit the drawer. All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you uh, how we like to do our drawer bottoms here. Um, we don't like using plywood, we like using solid woods. Um, this was a three quarter inch uh, piece of pine that we took down a half inch. So what we do is first we're going to mark it. We have two marking gauges, one set of three eighths. And we take that down from the top to the bottom. And we're going to mark a line on three sides. Then we have another one set at two inches. We're going to mark the bottom at two inches. This is where the bevel is going to be for the bottom. Now we're going to use a hand plane. I'm going to bevel between this two-inch line and this, the three-eighths mark. That's what's going to fit in the, uh, the dado in the, uh, in the drawer bottom. First thing is take a block plane and chamfer the end where the plane's going to be leaving the board so you don't have to tear out. All right, I'm going to start playing. This is a nice fit. Let me go get the, get the stuff here. Got that. What are you doing? What do you, what's, what are you doing over here? I, I, 
hey, we got to get the, we got to finish on the table. We, we're, we're behind, man. What do you mean? What are we doing? Relax. I've been reading up on this new style of doing finishing for furniture. It's like a metaphysical thing. Just envision how you want the piece looking ahead. How you want the caulks to look, the drawers to look, the legs. Can you envision that? Just really think about it. What are you talking about? Envision how you want the piece to look at the finished piece. How I want, but I walk. I, I, I got to put stuff on the, on the piece. Trust me. Envision how you think it's going to look in the end. Really concentrate. Concentrate. Come on. Can, do I put the stuff? Do I have to put the stuff down? No, just close your eyes. All right. Think about it. I don't. I don't. Come on, man. Just do it. Ready? You got it in your head? Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. Come on, man. It ain't gonna work right, 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 right. Do you see it? Mm. You got it. I, 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 I got it. You I sure? It. You have it? I got it. Ready? I got One, it. two, open your eyes. What do you think? Oh. Pretty cool, huh? How did you do that? I've been doing a lot of research. And a lot of reading, a lot of meditation. But uh, in the end, this is going to speed up our project times. Like, like, I mean, this is the hardest I ever thought. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm a freaking genius. Yeah, I thought I'd seen the smoke coming out of your ears. Amazing. I mean, <laughs> I should do that with every project I do. Every single one. Well, you're going to need my help, unfortunately. So uh, You'll have to talk me through it every time. But I think this is a great start. That's a great start. Man. So what do you think out there? Finished piece. We didn't want to bore you with the details of putting the finish on, you know, Karate Kid, wipe on, wipe off. Wipe, yeah. We didn't want to do that. So, this is the finished piece. Uh, Mark will take the camera off and we'll just bring it a little closer to yeah. show you some of the details. Open the drawer. These drawers are almost piston fit. You can actually feel the air, the suction behind the drawer when you close it. The action on them is beautiful. That's the only thing that's good about hand fitting a drawer with a plane. What if you were to get a piece of paper, put it in front, close it, and let the let the paper? Well, we could try that. You know, yeah. I just see the, the force. Yeah, you see that? There you go. Oh, the air coming That's out. That's nice. Nice fit. Both drawers the same way. There's the accent detail. Solid pine bottoms. We didn't finish them. These are unfinished. On the bottom, the insides of these are, of the, the drawer sides are finished, but this isn't. You get a nice smell of pitch when you open the drawer. Handles we installed, they're a metal handle to match the metal leg. And uh, that's it. That's, that is a mid century modern wall table. This project's done. All right, so that's a wrap. That's a wrap. All right, guys, we want to thank you for tuning in and watching us build this table. We thoroughly enjoyed it. We hope you did too. And we hope you take something away from it. The last thing we did to these drawers before we put the uh, drawers in the piece and be done with it, is to drill the hole in the bottom to attach it. We oblong the hole to allow this panel, which is solid, not plywood, to expand and contract with the seasons. We didn't do this. Um, it could cause the drawer bottom to crack. It could also cause the drawer to come apart. And we don't want that to happen. So over time, this should last. And for all you subscribers, uh, we'd like to say thank, thanks to every one of you. Um, it inspires us to keep making these videos. And if you have any comments, suggestions, whatever you have, just leave them below. And if you're watching for the first time and like to subscribe, we appreciate that too. Yeah, we love to have you. That's right. And um, yeah, it's really nice what you can do with a tree, isn't it? Yeah. And you know what? There's plenty of them out there, so you shouldn't stop. Look what you can build out of a tree. <laughs> it's great. Keep building. All right. All right. Anyway, that's a wrap. And uh, on to the next. We'll see you soon. All right. See you soon. Thanks.